Hey guys, we finally made it to part four of the rattle tutorial and in this part we're going to be working on doing the yellow band for the handle and then we're also going to attach everything else together. But let's go ahead and start off with our yellow yarn. You don't have to use yellow, you can use anything else, but I do want it to match the head of the draft. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this yellow and we're going to take our crochet hook and we're going to create a chain. So you can make your chain as long as you like, but I'll show you what I'm going to do first. So to create the chain, let's start off with a slip knot. And the way that I create my slip knot is I just hold my yarn in half like this. So you can see the shorter hand or the shorter side is where my thumb is. And I'm just going to hold on to it and I'm going to twist it. And then you see I have a loop in this hand. What I'm going to do is just take the yarn and put it through the loop. And that is my slip knot. And then I'm going to create a chain. So let's take our crochet hook, put it into the loop, and pull on the yarn to close it up. And a chain is basically yarning over your hook and pulling through the loop. So that's a chain of one. Right, I'm losing my voice, but um, let's do it again. Let's chain, sorry, let's yarn over and then pull through, and that's the chain. So that's two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. So I make my chain, um, I kind of just feel where I would want it to go. I don't want to cover the whole thing. If you did want to cover the whole thing, you can do that, but I'm going to do it about like halfway. Um, so I'll go, I'll keep going and then um, I'll show you, I'll come back and show you where I stopped, but go ahead and create a chain as long as you like. Okay, so I'm back and I did a chain of 19 and then I'll show you what that looks like. So it will cover about this much. And then this is where the head would go on top, and this is what we're sewing onto. So that's what it currently looks like. If you want to make your chain longer, go ahead and make it as long as you like, but I'm only doing about half of it, or half of the wooden round. So now after you create your chain, what we're going to do next, I'm just putting my crochet hook back in the loop. We're gonna, we're gonna um, single crochet back down here. So since I did a crochet of 19, when I go back down, it's going to turn into a count of 18 because um, I'm going to skip this stitch that's like close, that's really close to the hook, the one right next to the hook. You're not going into that one, you're going into the next one. So once again, I'm not going into this chain that's right next to the hook, I'm going into the second one here. I'm going to take my crochet hook, go into that chain, grab some yarn, pull it through, two loops on the hook, I'm yarning over and pulling through. That was a single crochet so i'm just going to continue doing that all the way down we're just single crocheting into the chain remember it's going to be one count less so i started off with a chain of 19 now i have 18 because i skipped that um, beginning stitch so again you want to go into it the chain grab some yarn pull it through there's my two loops on the hook i'm yarning over pulling through both and then I'm just going to continue going down and then I'll be right back. So I'm a little bit further down and I just wanted to show you that you can see I have this excess piece of yarn right here. What I like to do is just tuck it behind and I'll just grab it with my finger there and you can see that it's just right behind uh, my chain. So what I'm going to do is just crochet around it. So I'll just go into that chain and you can see it's like caught right in between. So as I crochet over it, it will hide some of the yarn. Then I have my two loops there. I'm going to yarn over and pull through both and then you can end up just cutting off whatever is left that's like too long to hide and then now i'm just going to keep going and covering that part of the yarn just so nothing really sticks out too much so remember just um go through your chain you have that excess piece of yarn like hanging right in the middle of everything you finish off your single crochet and then there you go, you're hiding that piece of yarn. So I'm gonna come back after I reach the um, end of this row. So once you reach the end, this is what it looks like. We're gonna make it a little bit thicker because it does need to cover this uh, wooden ring. So what we're gonna do once we reach the end, you want to chain one. So yarn over your hook and pull through. And then you want to turn your work. So now I'm on the back side, and now we're going to single crochet this row. So I do skip this corner stitch right here, and I go into the following stitch. So again, I'm not going into this one, I'm going right into the next one. And then I'll just do a normal single crochet, and I'll just do that until I reach the end. So I'll meet you back once I reach the end of this row. Again, it's just a single crochet, go through your stitch. Grab some yarn, pull it through, two loops on the hook, yarning over, pulling through both. And now I'll meet you back once I reach the end of this row. 
I reached the end of the row and this is what it looks like. Remember I told you for mine I had a stitch count of 19 in the beginning. I skipped that um, chain and now I have 18 stitches. So when I count this, um, this whole thing is going to be 17 but um, I do count the chain as a stitch so that makes it 18. So you're going to see like the normal stitch going alongside. It'll be easy to count your 17 if you're doing the same number I did. And then remember to count your chain as a stitch um, and then that makes it 18. And I count the chain because I skipped that first um, little stitch in the beginning. So now we're just going to repeat that over until we have enough yarn to cover the ring. So I'll just show you the beginning one more time. So you want to yarn over your hook, chain, pull through and that makes it a chain, then turn your work. Now we're back to the front and we're going to single crochet this row. So again, you skip that um, this corner stitch right here and I'm going right into this one. So let's go into this stitch right here and do our single crochet. Now I'll meet you back at the end. Now that I'm towards the end, remember, um, since I do count the chain as a stitch, you would also crochet into that chain. So here's the chain right here that I'm going right into to make it my last single crochet I'm doing in this row. And this is what it looks like. Pattern, I didn't write it out clearly, but what we did was, because I'm literally writing this as I'm filming it, but um, we did a chain of 19, we're single crocheting 18, we did the chain one turn single crochet, and then we did one, uh, one more of the same process we did here, and then we're about to do another one. So um, it's gonna just cover my ring. I don't, if you got the same ring I did, we'll do the same amount, or it kind of depends on how you crochet or if, um, your yarn, you use the same size yarn that I did, but let's go ahead and just make this a little bit wider. So let's chain one again, turn our work. Remember, don't go into this corner stitch, you want to go into the next one. And then let's just single crochet this uh, row once again, and then I will finish this part off camera because it's just a repeat of chaining and single crocheting. I'm towards the end. Let me just put my hook back in. Remember, we're also single crocheting into the chain, so don't forget that. And then I already measured it, and I know this isn't going to be thick enough yet because it won't cover the bottom. We are going to be sewing it shut in the middle, but because it's not thick enough, I need to do one more row. So let's chain, turn our work, skip that corner stitch, go into the next one and go ahead and single crochet this row. So I'll be back once I finish single crocheting this row. Just finish single crocheting that row. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to wrap it around this ring. Let me show you on this side. Um, I'm gonna, I do feel like it needs one more row, but I want to fix up the edge just a little bit. So you want to make sure it's not too loose because you want it to be kind of secured on here, but this is definitely going to be too tight. So I do need one more row of single crochets, but as I mentioned, I do want to fix up the edge just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to single crochet this border. I'm going to single crochet down this way and back here, and then that will be the end of it. Um, I don't want to make another uh, chain one and then go back this way because um, I need to make sure I go all the way around. Hopefully that makes sense, but um, I do want that. The reason is because I want to fix these edges right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to single crochet the edges right here. Now there's no specific stitch we're going into. You just want to fix up the border. So what I'm going to do is just literally go straight into this little corner piece right here. And I'm just single crocheting. Single crochet this edge. Again, just go into any space that fits to make a single crochet. You can see it's nicely closing up this border now. We don't have a um, this kind of edge right here. You see it doesn't really look as nice. So once I reach this side, because I want to make sure it's a little bit thick so I can uh, fit around here, I'm going to chain one. So let's go ahead, yarn over your hook, pull through. And then we're just going to single crochet into these chains right here. I know it looks a little bit weird, but just go ahead and single crochet into those loops until you make your um, way all the way down. I'll meet you back once I'm right here. I made my way towards the end and this is where I'm at now. So all I have left to do is just fix up this edge right here. So I'm not going to chain one or anything. I'm just going to go straight into this um, spot right here and just single crochet this border. And then I will be done with the band. So again, just single crochet into whatever space you feel like it will look nice. 
And now you are done with the band. So this is what it will look like. I'm just gonna fold it over and sew it together. I didn't cut this piece off because it's on the inside, so it'll be covered anyways. Go ahead and cut off some excess yarn. Remember, we are sewing this, so make sure you have enough yarn. I'm just eyeballing it. And because we just finished this part, let's sew this first before we get started on the giraffe part. So just take your yarn and you see the loop here. I'm just pulling the yarn out and we're going to need our threading needle. So let's go ahead and take our threading needle, put our yarn through the needle and let's begin sewing. So I'm just going to place it. I'm going to place this on the ring. Find my spot. Okay, so in the beginning it's going to be a little bit tough because it's just like loose yarn we're trying to go around. So I have my yarn on this side that I'm sewing with and I'm going to just bring it through this loop and up into the other corner. I am no professional at sewing and I actually hate sewing so hopefully I will make sense when I try to explain this. But it's basically just going back and forth. So I just did one. You can see it's Maybe I didn't make it thick enough, but that's okay. I just want to follow into the next stitch and go through the other side. And it will close up really nicely. You can also pull your yarn as you go. It should be able to adjust to the ring. It's just the first one is a little bit more difficult. And then we can cover that up when we go back down. So um, we're going to make our way down one way and then go back again. So just go into the next stitch and follow it along to the other side. But yeah, I really hate sewing, but I'm trying to just show you guys the best I can. One time I really said that I didn't like doing something in one of my videos, and someone said I was being really negative, but I'm just, I'm just saying. Sewing's not my favorite, and it's really hard to show. But yeah, I'll just make my way all the way down and then I'll meet you back on the other side, all the way to the other side. And this is what it looks like. It closed up really nice. I think it looks super cute. And just to make sure it's super secured, we're going to just make our way um, back down the other way again. So we can just add a couple more stitches to secure this rattle up. So just make your way back down doing the same thing. You're going to go in through one side to the other. I'm just going to make my way back down and then I'll be back to show you how I end it off. So, and then as you can see, there's that gap from when we first started. So what I'm going to do is just go into that last stitch and then instead of going to this corner stitch, I'm going to go into the one right next to it. And then you can just keep going back and forth until you can cover that up. And then what we're going to do is the way that I secured it. Okay, let's see if I can show you. So I'm just going to go through a stitch again. And I'm not going to pull all the way through. So you see my thumb is holding onto this part of the yarn. I'm not going to let it go all the way through. What I'm going to do is I have that loop. I'm going to take my threading needle and go through that loop. And then just tighten it up and you secure it that way. You can kind of still see the gap right there, but uh, what can I do? Well, I could fix it a little bit, but I think it looks fine. So um, now what I'm going to do is just stick my needle back through because I want to hide some of this yarn. So I'm just going to stick my needle through and just make my way. I'm not going to go fully through the rattle. I'm just going to go a little bit, a little bit down so I can cut it off later. Let me go on the side to see if I can show you guys better. So what I'm going to do is just go through a loop and push it just like that. There's probably a better way to do this. Okay, and then I'm just going to, you can keep weaving it through once again, but I already secured it at the end. So actually what I'm going to do is just cut it off because I just want to. So. Yeah, if you want to continue going down to make it a little bit more secure, you can do that. But I think it looks fine just like this. And oh my god, look at it. Okay, now let's attach everything else. Here we have the giraffe's head. And we're going to start sewing on the nose first. So 
Um, you see where I ended off with this yarn? I like to put that towards the bottom. Again, sorry if you hear background noise. Um, I like to put it a little bit towards the bottom of the face. And then you can take your rattle and just kind of see if that looks that looks right. It kind of looks like a duck, doesn't it? But yeah, I think I like it right there. So I'm just basically going to sew around. Okay, so here I have the face. Now I'm just going to take my needle and I'm going to find the stitch I want it to go into. I'm going to put it into this. And you can see I'm just going straight through like that, through the face. And then let's pull this yarn through, take this yarn out the way. And then I'm just going to go right back into the nose. So just go straight from the nose to the face and you can adjust the nose how you like if you want it to be a little bit more round, but I kind of want mine to go like this. So I'm just going to continue doing that all the way around. Remember, just go into the face and then right back onto the nose. Now, because this takes me a while and I need to see it kind of like right at my face and right now I'm just looking through the camera, I will do this part off camera and then I'll be right back. Towards the end of this, and I just want to mention that once you get a little bit of opening that's left, you can go ahead and stuff the nose just a little bit. I didn't put too much. I just put some like scrap pieces of yarn in there. But um, after that, you can just finish closing it up. You can see that I did move it a little bit towards the bottom of the face because it just felt like it looked better right there. But yeah, now I'm just going to go ahead and finish closing this up. And then once I reach towards like the like closure part, I'll come back. So now that I'm towards the end of the closure, what I'm going to do here, similar to how I end a lot of things, I'm just going to take my crochet, uh, sorry, take my threading needle and I'm going to put it into the following stitch. And I'm just going to poke it through the nose if I can get up there. And then before I pull all the way through, I'm going to hold on to the rest of the yarn so it doesn't go all the way through. And then I'm just going to take my threading needle and put it through this loop. And then I'm going to take the rest of the yarn and just stuff it right back into the nose. I'm just going to push it through this side. And then I'm going to stuff it from this corner. I'm going to use my scissors, but if you're going to do that, be careful. You can use your crochet hook if you like, but I'm just going to stuff this back into the nose and then I'll be right back. Now that we have the nose on, let's actually go ahead and put the horns on because I feel like that will be the easiest. So what we're going to do here is you can see there's the magic circle with the single crochet of six up there. Um, you're just going to place it like one on each corner. So like one right here and one right here. Or you can adjust it to however you like if you want it further or closer. Kind of just depends on what you want. But I like mine's right here where you can still see the magic circle on the top and I just split that in half just like that. So we're just going to sew this on similar to the nose. Just go ahead and insert your yarn through your threading needle. What I'm going to do, I have my threading needle here. What I'm going to do is just take this first one and place it like that. And then the way I hold it is I hold onto the face and then the top of the horn. And then I'm just going to go similar to the nose, just go in through the top of the head. And then right through the horn. And you're just going to go all the way around and just sew that onto the top of the head and then I'll be right back. So I have the horn on, well one of them at least. What I'm going to do now is similar to the nose, we're going to create that loop again so we can secure this off. So what I'm going to do is just stick my needle into a small portion of the horn and then let's just pull it through really quick and then we're going to go back down into the head and right back up. Okay, so you can see that. I'm right through the edge of the top of the head. I'm going to pull my needle through, but not all the way. Well, not, I'm not going to let this loop go through. And then I'm just going to take the needle back into the loop. Secure that. And then you can stuff your yarn into the horn or the head. I'm going to put it right into the head. And now I'm just going to repeat that with the other horn. I have the horns on. Let's go ahead and touch the ears. Once we put the ears on, it's going to look, start to really look like a giraffe. Ah, uh, so cute. Okay, so the ears just go literally right next to the horn. You can place, I like to place it 
I'm gonna put it like right there. So for the ears, I'm just gonna show you the beginning part. So you don't want it to be open like this because that doesn't look right. You want it to you want to fold it in half. Let me actually attach my actually let me insert, not attach. Insert my yarn through the needle. And then you can see that you want this part or you want this part closed right here. So what you're gonna do is just take this part of the yarn and push it through towards the other side. And that's how we close that part up like that. And then you're just going to sew it on to the head, similar to um, basically how we've been sewing on everything. I won't show you this part because it's literally just the same thing as what we've been doing. So just go ahead and attach this part onto the head and then I'll be back when I'm done with that. I do want to mention something so it's not like a uh, perfect circle as like what we've been doing here but what i've been doing is um you can see let me grab this one you can see that this bends down this way so you can go back and forth so you can see i'm starting to go backwards onto the ear so instead of going around it i'm just going this way and then that way so i'm going out to that way and then i'm grabbing this part of the ear and just going from the bottom of the ear and ending it off like that. I just attached the ears and this is what it looks like. I didn't show the closure because it's, again, I mentioned it's the same thing as how you end it here. Just create the loop and then weave your yarn through the loop and just stuff it back in. But this is what it currently looks like. I feel like I kind of made it off like this side. I put, I have too much space on the cheek and this side, not as much, but oh, what can I do? Well, I could take it out, but I just want to do that. So I'm probably going to add like something here. But anyways, this is what it looks like right now. And then I'm not going to put the eyes on yet, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like just by placing it on right now. Well, I'm not going to glue it on yet, but I would put the eyes right there. And then um, before I attach this to the handle, I think what I'm going to do is create the nostrils. So you're going to need black thread. So I have my black thread right here. You don't need to create the nostrils because when I look at it right now, it actually looks fine. But when I made my first one, it kind of looked weird without it. But for some reason, this one, it looks fine. But if you are going to make the nostrils, you're going to put like two little stripes one right here and then one right here so i'm just going to put it through this stitch and then it's honestly like trial and error i'm just stuffing it through one side and then this time i'm going to go straight all the way to this corner where my other thumb is right here if i can make it through and then if it looks ugly i'm going to take it out <laughs> Okay, so there's one nostril. And then I'm gonna go into this top stitch right here. Oops, it came out. And that's the nostril. What do you think? I think it looks fine. So I'm gonna take some scissors and cut that off. I'm just gonna go back in and put my needle or put the thread back in the needle jesus okay and then i'm just gonna go over it one more time so i'm gonna go in this way but um when i put it in this time i'm gonna go towards the bottom and i'm just gonna stuff this excess yarn back in I just wanted to create a thicker line, so that's why I'm going over it one more time. But if you don't want to go over it one more time, that's fine. So I'm going to go back in only to this corner and out towards the bottom. There goes the nostril. And what I mentioned before, I'm just going to stuff it back in and then we'll be done with the nostrils. We are almost done. So I have the nostrils there and now we're just going to attach it to the rattle handle. Rattle, rattle handle. You don't want to say that. Um, has anybody seen that show um, with Chowder? And that one guy goes rattle, rattle. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, now let's just go, oh, sorry. I uh, put my yarn through the threading needle from the head and then we're just going to attach it straight on to this band. So you want to place it in the middle, which is about like right there. So just going to stick my needle through and 
there's probably a better way to do this, but ooh, I think I made this way too long. Let me just take a little bit off. Okay, so you're just gonna go back and forth. First, we're just gonna create um, the middle portion so we can make it stick on. But I just went through the rattle handle. Rattle handle. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, and then go through the other part of the head. And then literally just going back and forth. So I'm gonna do this a couple times. Remember, just go through this middle portion, out through one side, out through the other. And then as you move, you can spread it out a bit. So you can go onto another stitch and then spread out further along the face. Don't go too high because then you'll be able to see the stitch or the sewing. So. I'm going to do a little bit off camera and then I'll be right back. I sewed on the middle portion, but as you can see, this ain't sturdy. So we're, what we're going to do is I'm going to hold the bottom of the rattle and then the top of the head. And then I'm just going to make my way around in a circular motion instead of going back and forth. So I'm just going to go through these stitches right here. It's not like too far up, so I'm going to go through this one. And then you have to go through a few different stitches. You don't want to stick into the same one because it won't make it secure. So first I'm going to start off right here. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm just going to pull through. And then now I'm going back into the face. Oops, I pulled a little bit of yarn. I mean a little bit of the, uh, stuffing. And then again, I'm just going to go sew right around see I'm moving towards the front now and we're just going to repeat that all the way around until we are secured on so I'll be back once I make it all the way around okay so I actually went around this guy about I think I would say three to four times already I just wanted to make it really secure so just keep going all the way around and then um, once you are done we can secure it like we normally do so I'm going to use my thumb right here so the yarn doesn't go all the way through and I'm going to go back onto the other side and I'm going through, oh, went too far up. I'm trying to go through this stitch right here at the bottom. It does not want me to go there, so I'm going to go back this way. Oh, good lord, it will not go through. Let's go through this darn bottom. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so I'm back through that bottom stitch and I'm going to pull the needle through. And then you see my thumb is holding that yarn piece. I'm going to take the needle and go through. And then I'm going to stuff that yarn back in and then we'll be done with this. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm now heating up my glue gun because we're going to glue on the eyes. And we're almost done with this video. I feel like I'm going crazy because I have all these lights on. It's also hot outside and I'm just losing my mind. So let's get this done. Let's glue on the eyes next. I mean, you want to place the eyes really close to the nose because I feel like if you put it up here, it's, it's just looking all weird. Just put it close to the nose like that. And then um, my glue is still heating up, so let me just show you guys these. So we're also going to be taking these little patches and then we're going to glue that on as well. I like to put two at the bottom. My camera was heating up a bit, or my phone was heating up a bit, so I had to pause really quick, but I think my glue is ready. I was about to touch it like this. Okay, so we're just going to glue, put a little bit of glue. Oh wait, it's not ready kind of and I'm just gonna glue it right here and then I'll glue the other side after I glued it on that's what it looks like oh my god this is looking so cute <sighs> okay next I want to glue I'm going to glue the smaller one. I don't actually like the bigger one. Okay, so with the smaller ones, what you're going to do is, uh, remember how we had that excess piece of yarn? You're just going to add a little bit of glue to the back. And then you're going to place that yarn down. 
You could cut, cut it off as well, but I'm just gonna glue it down. And then you're gonna cut off the excess piece. And then we're gonna glue it. I didn't put glue yet, but I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, that looks cute right there, huh? Let's put it right there. Last time I put four on it and I felt like it was a little bit too much. So maybe I should put two, but let's see how far we'll take this. Also be careful with the glue, it's really hot. Put one right there and then I wanna put one right here. So let's go ahead and do that. I already glued this part off camera when I was burned. And then let's put it right. It's the little beauty mark. And that's so cute. So should I add one more? I don't know. Maybe add one to the back. Is that weird? I feel like I should just leave it as two. Let me leave it as two so I don't go overboard. I changed your mind off camera. I did add one little spot to the back and this is what it currently looks like. And you can of course stop right here or you can add eyebrows. I don't know if I want to add eyebrows yet. So I'm going to play around and see if I like it or not. And then I'll come back to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like with the eyebrows. I actually hated the way it looked with the eyebrows because I could not get it to look right on this one. So I left it without the eyebrows. I know I have done uh, my first one with eyebrows. So I'll put a picture here and you can just decide if you want to make, um, if you want yours to have eyebrows or not. But this is what it looks like. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I love the outcome of this. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.